Hello. Happy Friday, everyone. Sorry. <coughs> so sorry. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you had a, a very good uh, Christmas and Christmas Eve and Merry Christmas to all of you. Please let me know if you can hear me. So sorry about the delay. I was having some issues here with my computer. It didn't want to start. Uh, please let me know if you can see already my screen and if you can hear me. My name is Diana and I'm going to be with you on today's webinar, okay? Let me know, please. You can chat with me through the chat window and also may send me a text to the Q&A part of the system. Let me open the chat. Let me know, please, anybody, if you can just send me a quick text and tell me that if you can see my screen, please. Anybody? I don't know if you can, let me check one second. Uh, Mr. Nash, uh, Irene, hello, Daniel, David, Maureen, Luis. Can anybody tell me, just send me a chat, through the chat, send me a text and say if you can see my screen and my cursor moving around, please, if you can hear me okay as well, so we can start with today's webinar. Anybody? Okay, so I believe that you can hear me and see me because I don't see anybody saying otherwise, okay? Uh, remember, you can chat with me, you can send me any questions if you want to through the chat or to a Q&A part of the system. As I was telling you, uh, my name is Diana. I'm going to be with you on today's webinar and I'm going to explain you another of our new products that we have here on the system, okay? It is called the Deal Generator USA, and you have it, uh, you have access to it with your ReFX account. The only thing that you need to do is log in into ReFX, okay? It will take you right here to your control panel as soon as you are logged in. And if you are using um, Google Chrome, that is the recommended browser, uh, we suggest you to use that one. You will see right here at the top, these two new products that you have access with ReFX, BNB Bester and the Deal Generator website. Today we are going to explain Deal Generator, okay? The only thing that you need to do is click on it and it will open another tab in your browser, just like this one. And as soon as you are here, you must log in again using the same email and password that you use for ReFX, okay? You just click right here, login, and I'm going to do it right now. Use the same email and password that you use for, oops. Same email and password that you use for your ReFX account. You can click on remember me and that's it. You must log in again on Deal Generator and as well on BNB Bester if you want to use those uh, particularly websites. If you don't, the system is not going to allow you to do anything else, uh, any kind of searches or obtain any kind of results or download any kind of data, okay? Now, let's start right here at the top. You will see on this blue bar, these are the different tabs that you have access to the system, okay? So you can see the overview and you will see the pre foreclose properties, the for sale with equity properties, okay? The number of properties on any of these tabs, you will see them on the map, okay? Located on the map. So. Right now we are in Florida only, United States or Florida State, and you will see how many pre foreclosed properties this state contains. How many properties are for sale with equity? How many are probates? How many are tax delinquents? As soon as you click on any of these tabs, 
the colors on the map, it will change, okay? It will let you know which areas, okay, on the map have more properties that are, at the moment, probate. And you will see them organized by these colors. Darker green, lighter green, yellow, and red. So the areas with most probates, you are going to see it on darker green. The areas with a little bit less, lighter green. Then the properties, sorry, the areas, or in this case, the counties that are on yellow are the ones who has a little bit less, okay? 25 to 50%. And then the, prop, the areas or the counties that are on red. It doesn't mean that they don't have any kind of uh, properties that are probate, but they have less. For example, if I click on this county, okay, Liberty County, I'm only going to find 111 probates. Different if I click on Miami Delta County, I'm going to find more than 10,000 uh, probates, okay? It happens to the same if I click on any of these. For example, let's change now to tax delinquents. The map will organize the colors, okay? The ones that have information, and you can see it right here. The ones that are completely blank are counties that don't register, okay? in any kind of public data source, the tax delinquency information, and that's why we don't have it. The rest, you are going to see them with colors, and you can see that information, okay? Again, miami Dale, you can see the number. If I change to Osceola, you can see the number right here. If I change, let's go to St. John, John's, okay? Seven, 17 only, maybe on Duval, okay? Zero. That's how you can make the decision, okay, or I don't know if you're planning to, or if you're planning to invest, uh, you can find right here the hot places, okay, those areas that contains more of the properties that you're looking for, okay? Tire landlords, you will see them right here, okay, maybe motivated sellers, short sales properties, bank owned properties that are going to be auctioned and they have an auction date uh, already registered. Properties that have repairs that are for sale and properties that are vacant. Now, this particular uh, last type of property that you will see here, the, the only of you who have ability to download and search for this type of properties are the ones who have professional dialer as your main product on ReFX, okay? Let me go back here. So I, in my account, I have professional dialer. That is one who is going to allow you to download either on prefax or on the deal generator to uh, download or to search or maybe make any kind of locations okay in your navigator for, a, for properties that are vacant type of properties or abandoned okay if you want to upgrade your account to have professional dialer please contact us you can chat with us right here okay on the chat icon and say that you want to upgrade your account, we can give you a pro rate based on your frequency of payment, and we can explain you how to use the dialer on React. You will have the ability to make calls to the system and also to have the access for all the kind of properties that are vacant or abandoned, okay? Please, anybody, let me know if you have any questions along the the, the, the along the webinar, okay? Again, you can chat with me. You can ask any questions or any comments through the chat window or through the Q&A part of the system. Okay, so you can organize the map and select the type of property that you are interested, okay? You can also change, okay, right here to places and try to organize, again, on the area that you have selected, try to organize this either by county, city, or zip code. And that way you will find, okay, maybe more properties uh, that way. At the moment I have it on county if I want to change this to zip code and I have selected the one that I have, that I left selected actually from my overview were auctions. But if I want to change, from auctions, I just need to go back and now let's select maybe tire landlords, okay? And then I go back to places and now I'm going to see all the tire landlords organized by zip codes or maybe I can change that to organize them by cities, okay? And I will see them right here. I can sort ascending, um, 
sorry, I can sort this ascending or descending if I want to, okay? So you will see which cities, which zip codes, or which county, like this in that list, uh, have more properties that are Thai landlords. Again, remember, if you want to change uh, the type of property that you're interested, go back to the overview and select any other. Okay, let's go to probate, and now let's go to places. And that's how you can uh, download this information if you want. To. You must be logged in, okay? You must be inside your account to have access to these particular icons, okay? They will pop up here, and that way you can download the data. Please remember that you have a limit that is for 5,000 records that you can download every month. Your counter will restart on your uh, payday every single month, okay? And that way you will have the ability to download 5,000 records more next month, okay? That counter, sorry, that limit is shared with ReFX. So if in ReFX you already have reached the limit, you don't have the ability to download anything from deal generator this month. If you want to increase your limit to download more data, the ability that you have is that you can buy an assistant account that will give you access to another to have 5,000 records more so you can download more data is that you're interested, okay? Sorry guys, I just pressed the stop and that's why you couldn't hear me. Let me know, please, really quick, anybody, if you can chat with me. Let me know if you can hear me now. By mistake, I press a, a stop sharing. Excellent. Now you can hear. Okay, very well. Okay, let me answer Mr. Daniel's questions. Thank you, guys. Thank you for replying. Uh, the monthly limit, Daniel, is 5,000 records. You can... Uh, so, again, you only have the ability to download here, for example, I cannot download these 5,763 probates from Miami because the limit is for 5,000. So I will need to select either a more specific area through the map that I'm going to show you in a bit, or I'm going to select any other city, okay? So I can download that information and that will be in an Excel file exported in my computer, okay? For example, let's go again. I was trying to download Fort Lauderdale. So this probates in Fort Lauderdale, that is the area that I want uh, to make business with. And I just click on right here, download. As soon as you do that, let me go a little bit down, uh, scroll down. As soon as you do that, it will open this window. So right here, I can select or deselect whatever information I want to see on that Excel file, okay, the column. So first column is going to be the address, the city, zip code, bedroom, bathrooms, okay, of the property, if you have pool or water from, GRB, the market value of the property, the active equity of the property, potential equity of that property, the owner's name, owner's address, CP, Corner zip code, phone number, the ID notice, okay, because we are talking about probates, the file number, the deceased person's name, the date, published date of this probate, representative name, representative address, representative phone number, and email. I'm warning you at the moment, this information, okay, these two, inform these two variables right here, or columns, is something that we don't have any of the representative, they don't uh, register either their phone number or their email, uh, their email address. 
only their address, okay? Because they want to be contacted through the attorney. But for the attorneys, we do have uh, the contact information, okay? So name, address, phone numbers, and email. If I click on download, that's it. That Excel file is going to download in my computer. Let me open that file for you. Let me just wait, it's still downloaded here. One second, please. It's a little bit slow in my, in my end. Let me try to do it again. So, okay, right here. I don't need to do it again. Let me open it. So you will see those uh, properties that I have downloaded. I believe there were 1,000 here, 1,221 properties that are probate in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I will see my Excel file here with all the columns, okay, the, all the information that I just told you. So address of the properties right here, and you can manage your Excel file, whatever you want. You just need to open this a little bit bigger. If you want to see the columns Again, a little bit bigger. Let me see this way, okay? I'm sorry, the, the connection is really a, a little bit slow. Let's wait for this to open. Okay, so you can see all the information again. Address, city, zip code, number of bedrooms, bathrooms. If the property has pool or water from, you will say yes or no, okay? Okay, thank you, Luis. Thank you. Okay, please, guys, can you let me know until when do, did you hear me? I already changed to a different uh, Wi-Fi. I believe that was the problem. So we are not going to have that problem anymore, I hope. Can, can you, Luis, or anybody tell me what was the last thing that you hear from me so I can repeat? Can you hear me now, guys? Okay, thank you. Okay, so you hear me until here, okay? I opened that Excel file that I uh, just downloaded, okay, or exported to my computer. And right here, you have that information. So the address of the property will be here, city, zip code, number of beds and bathrooms, the pool information and water from information, it will tell you if that property has it, so yes or no, okay? Gear bill, market value, active equity if the property has it, okay? Remember the active equity is about properties that are um, for sale. So maybe these properties are not for sale, they are only probate. It's the same with the active equity percentage. Owner information, it will be right here. You just need to manage your Excel file. Okay, open a little bit more the columns or edit whatever you want to see or want to modify in this Excel file. Owner's address, owner's county, zip code, phone numbers, okay? The phone numbers that we have available for any of these owners. This might be, of course, the deceased person as they are the owners on these probates. But at the end, okay, let me move on here. So a little bit more to our right. At the end, you will also see ID notice, file, okay, the case for that particular uh, probate case. The disease, the date, published date for these probates, representative name, representative address, uh, email, and phone number. Again, as I told you, that information, 
the representative, they don't register. So you are not going to see uh, anything in, on those columns, but you will see either the email and the um, phone number for the attorneys who are managing the cases for those probates, okay? Any questions about, about this? Remember, the Excel file, depending of the type of property that you have selected, is going to change. Let's go back now to select properties that are for sale, okay? So now this Excel file is going, is going to show me a different columns on the Excel because it's not going to show me the information for probates because they, these properties are not probate. Now it's going to show me the contact information for the agents, okay? Who are selling those properties. And of course, you will also see the owner information in case that you want to contact the owners. But mainly, the contact for properties that are for sale are going to be the agents, okay? Right here on deal generator, you are not going to see for sale by owner, only properties that are already listed, okay, with an agent. Now, so that is how you can see either the places and organize them or go back to the overview and try to download the data from there. You must uh, go to the map if you want to and try to select a, a small area. Let's try to select an, a county, okay? Whatever county you want. Uh, let's try go to Orange County, okay? And I'm going to select instead of, um, instead of for sale, I'm going to select all the pre foreclose on Orange County. Again, I just need to click on it and click on go. You will see the number of listings. So in Orange County, I have 3,066 3, properties that are pre foreclose you will see how the map change, okay? It will contain only that county that I select. Again, you can go a little bit further, okay? And try to select a specific zip code. Let's say that I want to see, I don't know, the information in this zip code right here, okay? Zip code 32824. And I will see only 155 listings, okay? And click on go. Or if I want, I can download these 3,000 records right now. I'm going to select a small um, information on this county. And you can see now on the map, okay, all the properties, the 50, the 155 properties that are considered pre foreclosed in this county in this zip code, okay? If you want, you can zoom in as close as you want to and as close as you need to, to see all the red points right here and try to check at least, at least one. Let's say that I'm interested only on this area and I want to check the information for this particular property only, okay? I just can click on it, select it, and now right here at the bottom, you will see the property address, okay? And you will see the number of bedrooms and bathrooms that this property has. If you are only interested in this particular property, you can add this property to your follow-up or add them to your navigator. That is another option because the deal generator, it is an application as well that you can have in your phone. I'm going to show you in a while the view of how you can see everything in your phone and you can use the system like that. You can download the data as well and you can create any routes from your location to these particular uh, properties, okay? You can also use right here at the top, the radar properties that are pre foreclosed if you are in this area, for example. So the radar will locate all the properties that are near you. And you can also select the distance, maybe five, uh, sorry, a half of mile away from you in a radius, okay? or maybe one mile away from you. And with the GPS, you can also do those type of um, exercises or tasks, so you can try to locate properties in a specific type of area, okay? Now, if I want to add this property to my follow-up, I just need to click on this heart. As soon as I click on it, I need to wait until a circle, like this, okay? will surround the heart, and now we we'll know that that property has been added to my follow-up. If I want to check all the properties that I have 
add it to my follow-up. I just need to go right here to my follow-up tab. This tab is different from your ReFX tab, okay? You are not going to see here all the properties that you have on ReFX. You are only going to see the properties that you added from Gear Generator. So right here, I have different properties, and I'm going to look. It will be the last one, okay? The property that I just added, it will be the last one on my list right here, okay? So that's how I can see everything from my follow-up. Now, if I want to see the information about this particular property, I just need to click on it. And it will take me to the overview of that property, okay? You can click on it through your follow-up or you can click on it right here at the bottom. If you click on it, it will open this particular overview where all the details are contained. So this property is a buy owner, pre-foreclosed, meaning that it is off market. Remember the buy owner blue on ReFX means that the properties are off market, okay? So this property is, this is the address, it's a single family type. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. This is the square footage of the living area and the gear bill is right here. On details, as you will see it on ReFX, you will have the public record information. Everything that has been registered about this property on public record is right here. This is the legal description of the property. The sale history of the property is right here and the owner information is right here as well. Okay, now if I want to see the foreclosure information because I have selected pre-foreclosed properties, I can see right here, this is the case number, the known debt, this is the last debt registered about the property. It is in a pre-foreclosed status, so only a lease pendants, okay? The mortgage, the plain lease, and uh, the property that is uh, not sold, okay, at the moment. And this is the auction amount, so. The, play, the bank has already selected an auction amount that is the same as the known debt of the property, but it hasn't select a, a auction date. So the property, is, the owner still have the ability to pay for the debt until the property goes into an auction process, okay? You know that the date can be, I don't know, uh, maybe um, uh, put a little bit for, forward I don't know, the year, something like that. But at the moment, it doesn't have it. Only an auction amount, okay? Any questions so far, guys, about this? Uh, Luis, you were asking about Waterfront. Yes, Waterfront. That is something that you can download there. Uh, it will tell you right here if a property will have either a Waterfront or Pool, you will see the word right here written down or if it's on the excel file sorry excel file that you have download you can see there if the property will have either pool or water from yes or no okay anybody has any questions oh i was uh, yeah i was there when the connection broke you're welcome thank you thank you in any case okay so let's move on you can also see the mortgage information so this mortgage, remember, is the original mortgage, okay? And when was um, recorded. So this property only has one mortgage. If a property will have more than, more than one, you will see that information here. So this is the mortgage information, okay, for this property. If a property will have debts on taxes, you will also see it. So this property on 2018 has this amount of debts on taxes. 2019, even though that is already ended, they haven't uh, published that in, in particular in this county where we are in, in Orange County, they haven't published any kind of information for 2019. Maybe it will be in the first week of January that you will see that information available if this is a county that published that information, okay? That registered that in any kind of public data source. The comparables, you might, you will also see them. So properties that are, again, half of mile away, properties that are similar on the living area, okay, and properties that, uh, uh, like this one, have uh, approximately uh, the same number of bedrooms and bathrooms, okay? So you will see them here. These properties through deal generator are comparables. 
So with them and with the sold prices, okay, for every single one and also the last sale date, these properties were sold in the past year in that area. You can try to select a, or try to calculate yourself a market value, okay? You will have the information here. And you can also see the active comps. In this case, it's only one property that is half a mile away, a property that have the same, uh, approximately the same living area, like this one, and properties that were sold in the past year, okay? So only one active comp. That is the information that you will see for these pre-foreclosed properties, okay, on uh, the overview. If I go back and I select one property that instead of being a pre foreclosure it is a probate, okay, again, let's wait right here for the map to locate this. Let's try with this one, okay, this property that I already selected and changed right here at the bottom, different address. I just need to click on it and it will take the overview. Now, right here, I must see, actually not for this one. Let's try another one, sorry, let me try this. You must see another tab with the information of the comparables. Oh, prefer close only. Did I select it right? So bring me is bring me again to only prefer close. Yeah, maybe something running with my account. Okay, again, I have a lot of issues today, so sorry. Let me try one more time. Because the thing is that you will must see right here another tab with the probate information, okay? So you will see who is the attorney, the representative, the case number, the deceased person, and the file and the ID notice, okay, as well. You, you will see that information here. You can try in your account. Now, let's go back here. Okay, let's go to this short sale property that is only one and I'm going to add this, instead of adding that property to my follow-up tab, I'm going to try to add it to my navigator so I can try to create a route from my location to this property. You just need to click right here, okay? The system will let you know as soon as the property has been successfully added to your navigator and click on okay, and you will see the address, okay? Uh, sorry, 14434 Island Cove Drive, and it will be again the last one that I have added, and it will be on my location tab, okay, right here. You can also see if any of the properties that you have here, you also have them in your follow up system, okay, or you can add them to your follow up if you want to. So this property, if I want to create a route, I just need to only select it and now click on route. You must have the your location activated, okay, in your device. I don't have it in my computer and I don't, I'm, I'm not on United States at the moment. So it's not going to create a route for me, but you can try to do it. Just click on route and for example, if you are right here at the moment, it will create the best route for you through Okay, your point A to point B. Or you can try to do it with several properties at the same time. Again, you must add the properties first to your location tab one by one, clicking on this particular click, uh, sorry, icon right here. The system will let you know as soon as you have added all the properties to your location tab and it will take you here. You can select several properties at the same time and click on route. And that way the system is going to give you the, set, the best route from your location to all these properties one by one, okay? So you will see A, B, C, D, okay? Depending on how many properties you have added right here and you have selected. If you want, you can try it. Please let me know if you have any questions about this. Anybody? Mr. Nash, Miss Irene. No? Okay. So this is how you can use deal generator, okay? Either to download, remember that you can do it from places or if you have selected at a small area, you can do it from here. These particular icons, they are going to pop up. For example, I want to uh, uh, download now 
the 14 properties in this particular county and this particular zip code. There are um, in auction, okay? There are going to be auction. Let me try. Something is wrong with my computer. Now it's not showing me any kind of results. Let me try to deselect this one. Let's go back to Florida. So sorry guys, this happened. And again, it is my Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, this is ch uh, charging, okay, or uh, uploading here in my account, it's loading actually. Let me show you how you will see this, okay, on the application. How is the view from the deal generator but in your, uh, mobile, uh, in your mobile phone, okay? So give me a second, I'm going to change that particular view and I'm going to log out. Just again, something is wrong. Let me refresh this tab. Wait for this to load completely. I'm going to change the view. Uh, you will see it on the mobile app, okay? Ignore anything on this side, um, on the right side of the screen. Let's wait for this to load. One second, please. Remember, you can download the application. It is called actually the same, Deal Generator USA. You can look for it in your App Store, okay, or your uh, Play Store, depending on what type of number, uh, type of uh, phone that you have. Okay, so if you can see anything right here on your right side, please ignore it. That is something that I have in my computer, so it will allow me to show you the view from the mobile application, okay? So you will see it right here like this. Again, you must log in first, okay, to your account. Click on login, use the email and password that you use for your ReFX account. That is the first thing that you need to do. Again, I have another error here. And as soon as you are login, you might use the application, okay? You can use everything. Again, you can go either like this. You are right now at the bottom, and if you can see, you have the same tabs, okay? On the blue bar, this is the overview. These are the places, okay? If I change to that, it will take me to places. Now, if I change to here, I will have my location tab, and if I change to the heart, I will see my follow-up tab and all the properties that I have added, okay? From your follow-up, you can all as well select any of these properties like this, okay, with your finger, and download if you want to download only the properties that you have added to your follow-up system. But let's go back to the overview. So on the overview, you can see everything, okay, properties that are pre foreclosed for sale with equity, probate, tax delinquents, tire landlords, short sales, bank on, auctions, repairs for sale and vacant property. Now, let's say that I'm interested in uh, properties that are for sale with equity. That is the information that I want to see at the moment. If you want, you can change, instead of only have this particular um, option on the overview, you might as well do a search, okay? You have that option as well on the, on the, on the website, on your, um, your <coughs> sorry, on your computer. If you click on the search icon, okay, it, it will be the magnify icon that is on the green bar. You might as well do a search by region or a specific address, okay? If you want to look for an address, just type down the address and it will locate you there. I don't have any address at the moment, so let's try to search by one that is right here in the system, so. Sorry, I just need to write it down. One. Okay, and like this, it will pop up there. Let's try to find one in Florida. Okay, this one. So, 90950 Northwest 38th Street in Hialeah. 
I'm going to locate that specific address. I can also use the more option tools. I can try to select only properties that are nearby these, that are single family or any other, okay? Maybe condo towns and villas, multifamily with plus or minus 10 units, commercial vacant lands, mobile homes and others. You have that option as well on the website, not only on your mobile application. Number of bedrooms and bathrooms, okay? Debt to equity percentage. If the property is owner occupied, yes or no. And if the property is for sale, yes or no, okay? I already have selected properties that are for sale, so I don't going to do anything else. I'm only going to click on apply. Now, the location has led us there, okay? So we are on this particular address. This zip code, this county, and all the properties that are nearby this, this address. So nearby this address, I have 14 properties that are pre foreclosed I don't have properties that are for sale with equity, nine probates, 29 tax delinquents, ta two properties that are title landlords, nothing for short sales or ban on, one property that is going to be auctioned, nothing for sale with repairs, and nine properties that are vacant, okay? So you can as well try to do a search like that, or if I go back to a specific uh, zip code, let's try this one, sorry. Okay, so let's go to this zip code in Florida. Again, I'm going to click on apply. And I will take it, it will take us here, okay? So you can do any kind of search that you want to, be as specific as you need to, to find properties in that area, okay? There are any of these types right here. And you can start downloading as well, okay? It will download in your mobile phone then you will have to look that in your, uh, wherever the downloads are located in your phone and you can download that specific Excel. I'm uh, exporting 11 properties that are considered short sales, okay? Right here is telling me that the download is fin has finished. Again, because I'm still in my computer, I can show you that particular Excel file, okay? Let me show you really quick right here address, city, zip code, geo area, living area, bedrooms, bathrooms, pool, water from, gear bill, in this case, because I have selected short sales properties, right, right here. I can also see the listing price, market value, active equity, potential equity, it will show up here. All the agent information, agent's name, email, phone numbers, okay, different phone numbers that he has registered office, okay, and owner information as well, okay? Owner's name, owner's address, county, zip code, phone numbers for these 11 properties that I download. Again, remember the limit is 5,000 records combined between your deal generator and your VFX account. Any questions so far? Please let me know. You can chat with me or go to the Q&A part of the system. Okay, I have some questions. It is possible to add properties from deal generator to VFX. Uh, not yet, Daniel, that is something that we are uh, still working on to add the properties from VFX uh, uh, to the deal generator. We don't have that option yet. So at the moment you need to search for those and add them to your follow-up system that again is different from VFX, okay? They are a part. Uh, I don't know when it's going to happen. Uh, it might not be happening soon, but we, it's something that we are uh, working on, okay? Uh, okay, if in, yeah, neither the other way around. You cannot add the properties from your deal generator to VFX. You must do the searches there. These are two different websites at the moment, and they are not combined like that, okay? So, sorry. And to my follow-up, let me know if that answers your question, Daniel, please. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. Does anybody else have any other questions about this? No? Okay, let's move on. And the same thing, okay? If you want to see now the map view, just as you will see it on the website, 
right here at the top is the map view, okay? So you just need to click right here and it will show you at this moment the 11 properties that I have selected that were short sales, okay? You will see them right here one by one. You can as well zoom in. This is the view from your phone. So again, you can click on any of these particular red points, okay? Those are the properties and you will see the address right here at the bottom. Again, you can add this property to your follow-up on Deal Generator wait until you see the circle surrounding the heart and that will say that that, will, that means that the property has been added there on the follow-up and you can also add it to your location tab okay property successfully added click on okay and you will see that address at the end this is the address that i just added it's a short sale okay for this property if you want to see again the information click on the property address either from here or from the other view on the map, okay? And it will take you again to that specific tab where you can see everything about the property. Address, distribution, okay, size, the type of property, single family. In this case, because the property is active for sale, again, it's green and it's also a pre foreclose you will see the days on the market, okay, for that particular property. The details will contain the public records information, everything that has been registered about the property. Again, legal description, sale history, and owner information. The listing details, if you have them, if you are an agent, please let us know your license number so we can add right here on this tab all the information about the listing, okay? About whatever their agent has registered about a property, in this case, Wilner Saints, okay, is the agent. You will see the contact right here, okay? If you want, you can go as well to the IDX link and you will see that another tab will open there in your phone and it will take you to this particular website. Right here, you will see all the information about the um, listing that the agent have registered, okay? So this is the listing price, this is the MLS number, okay, in case that you want to see it. You just need to close that tab, and that way you are going to go back to your deal generator application. Because the property is a free foreclose, you will also see the foreclosure there, okay, foreclosure information, mortgage information, if it's only one, then only one in a mortgage there. The comparables, you will see them organized like this, okay, and the active comps, you will see them organized like this. So in this case, we have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 comparables, properties that were sold in the past year that are half a mile away, and they are similar on the same size of the property. And only three properties that are active comps, properties that are active for sale at the moment, and properties that again are half a mile away, they are similar on the same living size of the property, but these properties again are currently for sale, so you will see the listing price, okay, for every single one of them, instead of this, that you will see the last sold price, okay, only for these properties. That is pretty much everything, guys, again, from your mobile phone, if you have added a property to your location, you might as well select the property or all the properties if you want to that you have added to your particular location tab and create the route on the map it will take you to the map view right here and it will create the route from your location to those particular properties that the map has selected there you must act uh, you must um, enable the location on your phone settings first okay like your GPS and also the location. So the app will read that from your phone and it will um, it will create your location here on the map. Let me know, please. That is the last thing that I wanted to show you today about Deal Generator. Let me know if you have any questions, last questions about this particular uh, tab. Okay, I have another question here. Will I use the same search criteria for the generator in VFX? Yes, you can. You can do the same searches that you want uh, through VFX or through deal generator. 
for example, if you want to see a short sale, let me go back really quick to reactors. Just enter your main product on Reifax short sales. And of course, if you are an agent, you can go right here and select properties that are for sale, okay? Any county, any type of property. And right here, short sale, you must locate the financial status. And that way, short sale properties. So you will see them right here. All the short sales, in this case in Broward, there are four sales at the moment, there are single family, and click on search. And that way it will take you to see that information, okay? But on ReFX, of course, you need to select all the filters because right here you can be as specific as you want about the properties that you're looking for. If you want to see it, to search now for properties that are probates, again, select the area, type of property if you want to, and go right here and select probate yes and you will see all the properties that are probate. But if you want to see tax delinquents, then go back here to public records and select tax delinquents filters by the year or the amount of the debts and taxes. Okay, yeah, uh, so sorry, Daniel. That is how you can do the searches. On Reifax, of course, you can be specific. On deal generator, the searches are already there and you cannot modify them. You're welcome. You're welcome, Irene. Thank you very much, Guy, for having me. Uh, what if you want to search for properties that are not short sales? If you don't want uh, short sales, then you might select a different financial status. If you don't want any financial status, you can select other or neither, no, okay? Or only area of properties. But you will be narrowing the search too much. So I, I suggest you that you leave it on all then on your Excel file, okay, your own, your results on ReFX, you select only the ones that you are interested, okay? Because the, the financial status that the system will offer you, again, are, are REOs, short sales, neither, okay? Or maybe other types like homes, a home location, something like that is called, a, depending on the financial status on the, how they were registered, Daniel. Okay? Okay, I will send you an email, Daniel, about how you can do a, a maybe other type of financials, so maybe more specific, but that is how you will see them. Again, I suggest you to leave it on all for the financial and only select the ones that you are interested because otherwise you are going to narrow the search like too much. You might have zero results in your search. Thank you guys, thank you very much again. I hope that you had a very nice Christmas and I hope uh, that you have a very happy new year, uh, sorry, new year. I will see you again next Friday. So be good, have a great time with your family. Let us know please if you need anything from us, you can call us, you can chat with us. Remember we are right here on ReFX. On this icon, just say hello, I need help. How can I do something? and we will answer through here. Or you can go to the generator and we are right here at the top, okay? On the chat window, it will open the chat for you. And you can say again, any questions right here to your phone or to the website. You will see the chat icon there. You can also send us an email or go to, actually to go to the, our YouTube channel. And there you will find any tutorial videos like this. Thank you, have a great day and bye-bye.